Hello traders, welcome to a video where my face is in the right corner and not in the left corner. So you know that it's going to be very special. What's special about this is in the Discord, someone had shared a resource that I found just super, super helpful. Um, it's called GoCharting.com. Currently, everything you're looking at is free. What this actually gives you access to is pretty insane. Um, for, for me, I found it very, very helpful. It gives you things that are online, very low latency access to things like this. So this is the price ladder that they actually can show you on XBUST Live. So I can see, you know, the contracts here, the contracts there. And what we can also even see is something like this. You know, I can see how many buys have occurred, how many sells have occurred, the bids, the offers, and the snapshot. I, I just think that it's really, it's really, really cool. Compact, you know, you can just customize it in really whatever way you want. It also gives you live time and sales. So you can see all the time and sales right here. You can see, you know, how many contracts. We've, you know, 72,000, um, one, and you can see the size of them. And you can also filter. So if I wanted to, I could say, hey, I only want to see, uh, show me only, oh, <laughs> it just gave me a little beep there. No, no, turn off the beep. No. Okay. I, I don't think it wants to turn off the beep. Let's see. Add. Uh-oh. Okay, here it comes. Is it going to start beeping like crazy? No? Okay. Thank you. The beep, the beep is off. Okay. There. Okay. Did my time and sales come back? Okay. <laughs> I'll put in zero. Add. Perfect. Okay. We got time and sales back. Sweet. And we have a lot of buying here. Yeah. And then it also shows the live order book here. So this is just a lot of information that it's showing. Now, another thing that I found really, really nice about this is a lot of traders were telling me, how can I get data for things like uh, Renko for free online? Watch this. This is a free product. Again, here's the Renko. Okay. How about if we want to do something that not many are using, Elder Impulse? This is a tool that actually... Uh, shows us a lot of a lot of different things. I know it looks like it's repainting right now, which is kind of unfortunate, um, but I still will tell you what this does. So blue purple means that the market is indecision, is not really uh, going anywhere, it means that the forces of buying and selling are about equal. Red means selling is stronger than buying and green means buying is stronger than selling. So you can see here we have a lot more green than red and we have an uptrend, right? Now we can also use something like, you know, even point and figure or range bars. Range bars is very pretty. Um, point and figure is something that might not be as pretty. It's just a lot of X's and O's, but it's something that you can use for reversal patterns if you are so inclined. Another thing that I found that was really, really cool is watch this, guys. You also have access to all of these candlestick patterns on any cryptocurrency with any pattern. It will find that pattern for you. Uh, so watch this. So I want to see all, show me all dojis. There. In blue, we have all the dojis, right? Beautiful. Show me all dojis on the daily. I want to see, you know, uh, where have those dojis occurred on the daily? Have they occurred at reversal points? We had a doji here, price reversed. Doji here, price reversed. Dojis here and price reversed. Um, doji here. Yeah, actually pretty nice looking reversal here with that doji. Same here. Doji, price reversal. Same here. Price reversal. Here, not so much, uh, you know. This kind of failed, kind of failed. Uh, this, I would get, I, I don't know what kind of doji I'd call that, but you guys get the idea of really what kind of candlestick patterns you can just get by just looking at this. Or if I want to look at every single bearish indication, it's now in blue. So now all of the blue is all of the daily candles that were marked as bearish. Not not um, uh, groupings of patterns, groupings of candles, not just prices when a price went down, but when it would have told us that price was more bearish than bullish, I mean, look at all these indications of bearish here. It's like, yep, bearish, 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 bearish. That's bearish, that's bearish, that, that's bearish. You know, you can see them all here. Um, let me turn off that guy because we don't have, we don't want to have too much fun. <laughs> Another one you can use is they have free access to order flow. Not order flow, but uh, volume profile, market profile. So look at that. I'm now looking at the market profile here um, with the full alphabet, as you can see right there as well. Beautiful. And if I want to edit that, we can go to the editing page and, you know, we have all of this data. Um, I don't want to get too deep into really how to edit all this because, uh, you know, that would be, of course, another video. 
Um, we can also look at the volume profile, even though I think it's already here. And beautiful, we have the, we have the volume profile now. You know, I can see a lot of trading had occurred and where not much trading had occurred. So you can see here, you know, it's telling me where the point of control is. It's just really whatever you want, you can kind of get with this, um, with, with this, with this thing. What else do you have? Sacred geometry. I mean, just like it's, it's, it's got a bit of humor too. And then the oscillators that it has, a lot of these I've never seen before. You know, one that caught my eye that I actually haven't clicked on even before this video was what is high minus low? Is it? It's just a, oh, it's just <laughs> it's just high minus low. I was like, oh, what what is this secret indicator that's gonna give everyone millions of dollars? <laughs> high minus low. That's the secret to trading. Ravi? I feel like I've heard it, heard that before. Oh, okay. Well, I, I all right, Ravi. Momentum, we can see uh, some pretty classic momentum, but also just some other ones that um, you typically don't see on TradingView. I can tell you that. Overlays, any interesting overlays that I want to show you guys? Okay, just a lot of acronyms here. ATR trailing stop, this one's a nice one. Um, again, that is not financial advice. Do not use this. I mean, use this or don't use this, but not dependent on um, on what I say here, of course. But this is a trailing stop that actually tells you, you know, where to place your stop loss. If you're in a short, it'd be the blue. If you were in a long, it'd be the green. So you know, if we were sh if we were short here, we would have put our stop loss here, and then it would have hit right there. And this actually shows you when your stop loss gets hit. So the ATR trailing stop, I, I think, is pretty helpful. You know, here it looks like it would have worked. Just barely, but it would have worked. It would have maintained a good enough distance, as you can see here. Here, we, you know, if you had gone long, it probably would have stopped you out, and then, you know, some ranging would have stopped you out a lot. But on these st strong trends, the ATR trailing stop can really be very, very helpful. Now, really, the main source for why I would want to use this probably second place would probably be the candlesticks that it alerts us to different candlestick patterns, um, but probably would be the order book here. To be honest with you guys, and the price ladder is just just too pretty and too helpful. Um, what do I have here? Compact, okay. Full VPVR. Oh lord. Okay, so this is a lot of data, but we can see where people had bought in the past, where the bidding is. I can get uh, you know center view. I can get scroll down, scroll up, higher precision. I could even zoom out and get lower precision. So this could be if I wanted to see you know a grouping of ten dollars per price. What are we looking at order depth wise? as you can see here. And you can also do this. This doesn't just have to be XBT USD. You know, you could look at BNB BTC. I could go or, you know, any other kind of coin. We can look at the price ladder of that too. Uh, we'd have to, of course, zoom in like crazy, which we just did. And it's telling me on the VPVR where certain um, large amounts of trading had occurred. I can see the buys here. I can see the sells here. I can see the bidding here in BNB. And I can see the selling worth in BNB. And we can also even play around. I with, you know, some candlestick patterns. Okay, I don't actually love the all bullish, all bearish. I know that that's one of the functions here, but I actually prefer being more specific with the candlestick patterns that you choose. Um, specifically, like, hey, let's look for gra uh, Gravestone and, and, and uh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly Doji. Okay, let's see here. So, um, yeah, we can see some of them. One here, one here, one here. Yeah, not too helpful. I mean, maybe on the one hour we get a little bit prettier of, the, of, of data, but eh, not really. You're not really doing it for me. Um, how about just overall dojis? Yeah, so this is just probably going to be a lot better. Um, you can see reversal doji here, price went up. Uh, some reversal dojis here, some choppiness and price went up. You know, reversal doji here, reversal doji here. These dojis have just been... Pretty good on, on BNB, BTC, one here, one here. You know, you can see them. And I just really like, because I've never found another resource that actually illuminates the uh, the candlestick patterns as well as this one does. Bullish Marabazu, bearish bullish Marabazu. Let's see if there's any of those. Yeah, one right there, which led to an uptrend. And there's probably plenty of bearish Mar Marabazu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. No, I know. Probably not. Bearish Mar Marabazu, Bazu. Okay. Apologies for anyone who actually knows how to say that word. So, ooh, this is a good one here. We saw actually a pattern where we had a doji and then a bearish marabazu, and price went down 
Here as well, we had two bearish Meyer Bowsers, and each time, you know, price continued to downtrend, although we did get a bit of pullback. And if I want to just keep beautifying my chart, you know, I can add other things such as, what else can we add here? Uh, hammers, tweezer tops, tweezer bottoms, I could do tweezer top. Oh, there's a lot of those. Okay, that, that guy's got to go. That guy's got to go. Um, you can see the VPVR is, is already just showing us that the 2215 is actually showing uh, like it had a lot of trading which is right here, which could provide some potential resistance if price does trade up to this level. Uh, what else does this guy offer? Layers, I think that, I think layers speaks for itself. The live order book, you can see here. And, oh, oh, I zoomed in a little too much there. And, you know, I could do a lot with this. Also, can I get BNB BTC in, um, what is it gonna do? Oh, in, uh, what's it called, in Renko? Hey, look at that. It's in Renko. So yeah, this video was was made for me to just kind of obsess over all these just cool indicators and cool things that this that this platform can give you. Um, of course, I, I haven't talked to anyone in this company. This is just more of a spur of the moment. This is a cool tool kind of video. Um, but it looks like in the future and currently that this does have a lot of potential. It even has fixed range volume profiles. What? Okay, we have to we have to use a fixed range. I'll identify a range. Come on, fixed range, where'd you go? Here? To here? No, no, no. You left me. Come on. Come on, fixed range. Oh, here she is. Here it is. That is a beautiful lot of coloring, but wow. What is that coloring? My god. I don't know why they, guys, I don't know why they use the alphabet. Is this a new kind of trading that just I haven't been told about where we're using alphabet? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm loving this. It tells me the POC. It tells me, wait, does it even tell the amount of money that had been transacted there? 2.4 million versus 4.6 million? Well, there's a lot I have to learn about this one, but I don't really know what these letters mean. <laughs> I'm kind of intrigued though. This is all I can get? No, that's volume. Yeah, I want to, I can't change the fixed range volume profile. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really know what those letters are. When you get to Z, I think that means that <laughs> per perhaps that that's going to be a very strong resistance or support. And I guess it was actually, look, look, uh, this large amount of trading, this point of control, where I just identified the range at this market top right here, right? That actually became resistance right there. Do you see that? I did not even select this point, but what ended up happening is that this uh, high volume node actually became resistance here. The Z, the A to Z actually worked in our favor and this could have been a good place to short on Binance margin, as you can see here. All right guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, really cool tool. Yeah, go check it out. I, I think that it has similar functions to uh, ExoChart, similar functions to TradingView, and similar functions to ATAS, Advanced Time and Sales Platform. Uh, and it's all online. So go try it out. Happy trading. I'll see you guys next time.